Hey Sunrise friends, I'm Jennifer. Welcome to the Camera Operator Basics training video. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of our setup for live streaming, and then we'll jump right into the basic things you need to know to operate a camera here on Sunday mornings. We've kept our setup pretty simple, so you don't really have to have much camera knowledge in order to be a great camera operator in this environment. Let's get started. We use Canon EOS R cameras with a few different types of Canon lenses. The main lens we use is the 70-200 f2.8 zoom lens. It's a fairly long lens that lets us stay tucked away in the corners of the room, but still get good close-up shots of the action. Now, most of our cameras are powered with an adapter that lets us plug them into the wall instead of using a battery. Also, things like camera settings and tripod leveling are fully set up and checked every Sunday morning. And this way, the camera operators never need to worry about running out of battery or needing to make adjustments to settings. We have multiple cameras set up throughout the room so that we have a good variety of shots to choose from for the live stream. It's important for camera operators to know the number of the camera they are running, so each one is labeled. You'll notice a little box that's attached to each tripod. That box converts the camera's output to a different format, which is then sent over cables that are run through the ceiling all the way to the control room. You don't need to know any of that. Just know that this little box is really important. So make sure you don't unplug any of the cables. Now back in the live stream control room, all the camera feeds are being sent to a computer running a switching software called vMix. There's a producer running vMix, switching between cameras. There's also a live stream sound operator who's mixing the audio at the same time. All of these things get put together and sent out into the world to create our live stream as well as the closed circuit feed that we send to the TVs in the lobby and cafe. Okay, that's the basic overview of behind the scenes. Now let's get started with what you need to know to be a camera operator. We'll go over the tripod first. The tripod has two axes that you need to operate. The tilt axis moves the camera up and down. The pan axis moves it left to right. Most of the time, we keep both of these axes loose so that it's easy to pan and tilt and follow a subject around. But if you need to adjust them, the nuts are found on the left side of the tripod head. That's pretty much all you need to know about the tripod. So let's move on to the camera and the lens. The on-off switch on the camera is a small dial found on the top left. Flip it to the left to turn it on and the right to turn it off. On Sunday mornings, it should already be on. The LCD screen looks like this. It has different amounts of information on it depending on how many times you push the info button. You can feel free to change this to your liking. It won't affect your signal to the control room. Your screen should remain on throughout the service, but if it ever goes black, that's just because it went to sleep. If your LCD screen goes to sleep, it's okay. We're still receiving your signal in the control room. All you have to do to wake it up so you can see what you're doing is press the shutter button located on the top right. This is the button you would normally press to take a picture. This also won't affect your signal to the control room. Now these Canon cameras have some really advanced focus capabilities. Most of our cameras are set to a focus mode called facial recognition. The camera is looking for a face, and once it finds one, it locks on it and follows it around. And even though it's really advanced, it can mess up sometimes, especially if there are things in the background that can distract it or if your subject turns their head away. So if that happens, you just have to touch the LCD screen on the face you want to focus on and it should get back on track. Now on the lens itself, there are these two black rings. The one closest to the glass is the focus ring. As long as you're in autofocus, which you should always be for our purposes, you won't need to use this one. The ring closest to the camera body is the zoom ring. You'll use this one a lot. You turn it clockwise to zoom out and counterclockwise to zoom back in. Pretty simple. Okay, now it's time to move on to communication. During the live stream, the producer in the back room needs to be able to communicate with the camera operators. For this, we use an app that runs on our smartphones called Zello. 
you will need to install Zello on your phone and set up an account before you arrive for your first time. All you need for this is an email address and a password. The second thing you need are some decent headphones that connect to your phone. If you're using the kind of headphones that have two earbuds, it's important that you put both of them in your ears or else the one left hanging down can be heard by the worshipers around you. If you have wireless headphones, you can just use one and leave the other one off. That brings us to Sunday mornings. We ask you to arrive at 9.20 for the pre-service meeting that we have with everyone involved in the service. At that meeting, we go over the order of worship and make sure everyone knows what's going on. You'll get your camera number at that meeting and you can ask any questions you might have. Right after that, the camera operators get together with the production manager to make sure that everyone has Zello set up and running and connected. Then at 9.40, we need everyone in their places by their cameras. During the service, your main job is to give the production manager the shots they're asking for. You'll hear things like, camera one, give me a nice tight shot on that guitar player, or camera four, tilt down a little so there's less space above the speaker's head. Then, do your best to deliver. Besides that, here are the three main things you need to know. Number one is, know the lingo. Before the producer cuts to your camera, you'll hear them say, stand by camera one, or whatever your camera number is. This means that they're about to cut to you. Once you hear them say, taking camera one, that means you're on. So be sure to keep the camera steady and listen for what the producer wants you to do. Number two is follow the speaker. During the speaking portions of the service, your job is to follow the speaker around. Pastor Jim moves around a lot during his sermon, so you have to stay on your toes with him. Now this is not as crucial during the songs since the band members don't really walk around on the stage. And number three is keep focus. Remember we talked about how that facial recognition focus mode is really great, but sometimes the camera gets confused? Your job is to get it back on track when that happens. If you notice it losing focus on your subject, just touch your LCD screen back on their face and it'll come right back. Okay, all that's left is putting things away after the service is over. All you need to do is turn off the camera, unplug the HDMI converter box from its power source, detach the SDI and power cables, put the lens cap on, and carry your rig to the camera closet. Now you have all the instructions you need to be a camera operator for the live stream here at Sunrise. It's pretty doable, right? I hope this was helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you behind a camera soon. God bless.